Welcome to Statics Lectures by Civil Thinking and today we are going to solve a problem on tricks to find the zero force member in trusses. Okay. Now before I move on, I suggest to you to please watch the video lectures on truss analysis one by one as in the playlist so that you understand better. The playlist link is in the description or also you can click on the pop-up on your screen. Now in the previous class, we have seen the shortcuts or the tricks, right? Tricks to find to find zero force members. Okay. And if you have not watched that lecture, please first watch that video lecture. Okay. I will provide the link in the description or you also you can click on the pop-up. And now today in this class we will solve a tutorial problem on the same subject. Okay. Using shortcuts, how to find the zero force members in process. Okay. Now I told you there are two steps basically in those you know applying the shortcuts or tricks and I told you there are four four tricks right four tricks now the first step is what are the steps steps is the first step is uh, you know find support reactions okay find support reactions okay second step is identify the trick at any joint now the first step is find the support reaction okay now this is w it is inclined force okay now if i draw some line here did i say this angle is theta so this is w cosine of theta okay and this component will be w sine function of theta right so we will have uh, we are going to have one support reaction at this roller right let us say for example it is w uh, sine theta divided by 2 it is just approximate okay i'm not saying the value is accurate i don't know and let us say now this is pin there are two reactions right let us say this is w sine theta divided by 2 and this is w cosine of theta okay now I don't, we don't have to care about these values, okay? We just have to find the sense or the direction of the reaction, okay? Actually, the direction is important, okay? Only the direction is important. Anyways, we found the support reactions. Now we have to identify the trick, okay? We have to look at every joint. We have to look at every joint of this truss and see if there is any, uh, you know, we can apply some tricks, okay? Because there, there are patterns in the tricks. Okay, now uh, I am looking at every joint of this truss very carefully and I can see this joint. Okay, now remember I told you there is a rule. For example, there is a joint. Okay, and there are two, three members basically. Let us say this is one. This is one member to this joint and this is other member and this is other member. Okay. Remember this was one trick, right? This was one trick. And there is no support here. There is no force here, right? There is nothing, no support here. Nor external force here, okay? Because these two are linear, then this becomes a zero force member, okay? This is the trick, okay? Now look at this joint. I can see these two members are linear. So this becomes a zero force member, right? So I can either put a zero on it or I can simply erase it, okay? Now I prefer to erase it here. So we have one zero force member so far. Okay. Because we have to count the number of zero force members in this truss. Okay. Now look at this joint. Now these two members are linear and this is non-linear. So we have another zero force member, right? Now look at this joint. These two members are linear and this is non-linear. So this is also a zero force member, right? So it is one more. Now similarly look at this joint these two are linear and this is non-linear okay so this one is a zero force member okay so now look at this joint these two are linear and this is non-linear so this is also a zero force member right now look at this joint same thing this is non-linear so this is zero right plus one right now look at this joint same thing Two are linear this is non-linear so this is also zero force member so plus one and now look at this joint 
these two are linear and this is non-linear so this is also a zero force number okay so these are one plus one okay this is plus one more okay so one plus one two three four five six seven and eight okay so overall the total number of zero force numbers are eight okay now i don't see any more tricks in this which we can apply in this truss okay so this way we found the number of zero force numbers in this truss only using one trick right we only use one trick and we know we have four tricks okay and if you want to see all the four tricks you can watch that video lecture the link is in the description okay so please give me a thumbs up if you like and if you have any suggestions or if you have a question you can comment and that's it for today see you in the next class thank you